Hello friend. Okay, so I was just sharing some of my reads um, on Instagram. I just finished Caraval by Stephanie Garber um, and I was sharing it on my Instagram and then I was like, oh, let me share it like a, a, in my TBR and stuff. The most chaotic TBR. So excuse my hair. It's a little crazy, but let's get into the most uh, um, uh, chaotic TBR um, and and books I'm currently reading. So we're gonna do fiction and non-fiction. We're gonna start with um, fiction because it's the shortest one and um, just to preface, so this is my current fiction TBR. These are books that I currently have. So this is my TBR of books that I currently have. I have a super long list of books that I would love to read but I do not have in my possession. So the first fiction TBR is The Bodyguard by Catherine Center. I got this yesterday and it is a, I've heard like a clean, I've heard that it's a clean fiction romance story. So excited for this one. Um, she's actually the bodyguard for the guy. So really excited to read this one. Um, and then Sense and Sensibility. I love Pride and Prejudice. I had started, I'm so sorry if that door bothers you. I started Sense and Sensibility once and then just never finished it. So I need to read this. I think I watched the movie actually and it was a pretty good movie. So yeah, that's the my fiction in my possession TBR. Now, <laughs> for the fiction books that I'm currently reading, first one, the one I'm most excited about, Legendary by Stephanie Garber, book two in the Caraval series. Um, yeah, very excited about this one. Read it the first book like a 3.75. Really loved the ending, but the beginning was a bit, you know, interesting. Um, that book was a little trippy, not gonna lie. Okay, so then this book, Anatomy by Dana Schwartz. The most beautiful cover. This book is literally so beautiful, but it. I cannot seem to start read this book like I've gotten this far in about six months and something you need to know about me is I am an all or nothing reader so I'm either reading I literally read Caraval in one sitting one sitting um one afternoon into evening took me about like six hours so I either read one whole book in a day or it I either read a book in a day or it takes me like months and months and months potentially years <sighs> I will eventually get to this one, possibly. Then, this book is historical fiction. Um, please, it is a chunker, it's four stories in one. Look at all these words in one page. Look at this, and now, uh, that's not any better. <laughs> okay, look at this. You know, so it is quite the, sorry, my phone keeps, is like slowly slipping. It is quite the chunker. Um, and it's historical fiction. So this one you just have to be in the mood for. I was in the mood for the first story and then I haven't continued it since. So I need to get to that. Then, one of my all-time favorite books, Sophie's Heart by Laurie Wick. I read this about once a year and it is nearing the time when I'm reading it. I think I started reading the first couple of pages. So I need to actually get into this one. Now, for the non-fiction. Anyone else have the absolute longest non-fiction TBR because you just struggle to read non-fiction quickly? So before I get to the TBR, these are the current non-fiction books I'm reading. Um, and so the very first one, Gentle and Lonely by Dane Ortland. I've been reading this for about a year. I am only halfway through the book. But it is one of the most beautiful books about Jesus and Jesus' heart. It just sometimes it feels so weighty. And I just struggle to read, like, read it fast. But I am determined to finish reading this book. Also, it is so, so beautiful. Look at this book on the inside. Like, I love, love, love this book. It's, it's just taking me forever to get through. All right, so these are my current non-fiction reads that I'm currently reading. Sons of Susanna, I picked this up at the end of last year, or sometime last year. And I just never finished it. It's a really cool book about the Wesley brothers um, with like a little bit of fiction, but it's non-fiction as well. And I love, love, love. Uh, well, not love, 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 but it's very interesting. I'm just taking forever to get to it. Now, um, Freeing Christ. This one I've also been working through. I just need to sit down one day and just get through this book. It's a really, really cool book. I just, once again, taking me forever to get through. Then... <laughs> On top of all these non-fiction books, I saw this one at Kim Books. It's about the Holy Spirit. And I was like, why not? You know, um, I am 20 pages in. 
um, but it's really short I think it's like a hundred pages and I'm excited this one will just be like in a sitting kind of day 164 pages but it's a really cool book um, recently started reading that then for the longest non-fiction TBR ever okay this book one of my friend got this for my birthday knowing God by JJ Packer and I've heard it's an incredible incredible book and I'm so excited to read it I just need to finish my other non-fiction reads then another one that I know is such a good book I just once again need to clear my non-fiction crazy love by Francis Chan okay very excited for those love and respect I actually kind of started this one. Oh, oh I am quite through this book I am um a hundred page what sorry <laughs> I'm like a hundred pages into this book um but this is a really cool book about marriage I think it's about 400 page 320 pages um but also I started it and then just didn't finish it so I need to actually like dive into it another book I started was so so good but I just never committed to finishing it this one is a really good one all right um one of my friends got this for me to read um or borrowed it for me to read have i started it no i just need to get to it i know it's also a really good one um then oh this one is actually one that i picked up today from my shelf because i was like i really need to read this i love keith green and his life and i've read this book before and it was the most incredible book and i think such a convicting book about like no compromise um and just keith green's life so i'm excited to read this one but once again, I just have such a long non fic TBR. And then, oh, two more. This one's super short. I think I started reading this at one point and then just didn't finish it. 160 pages. Um, I've read really good things about this. And this one, No Compromise, Crazy Love, and Knowing God. I think these are kind of at the top of my non fic TBR. Um, I really feel such a strong calling to one day be a full-time missionary and these are all especially I know crazy God knowing crazy love knowing God uh, I dare to call him father no compromise these are all kind of in that kind of field so excited to actually pick those up and then the last one I got this from one of my friends years ago <laughs> and it's such a it's like a literal kids book and have I just oh have I finished it? No, I haven't. That's a cool little trinket. Okay. Um, have I started it? No, I haven't. But I know it's a cool book. And so that is my current chaotic, absolutely chaotic TBR and current reads. If you stay to this point, honestly, like kudos to you. This is kind of a sneak peek into my mind, the chaos of my mind. And so, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, friend.